Hey, hey, everybody, Z Garcia here, and today we're going to be unboxing E.T., the extraterrestrial light years from home game, a cooperative adventure game from Prospero Hall and Funko Games, as it says up there. Ages 10 and up, two to four players. We already know it's co-op. And then on the back here, we've got ourselves a board. We've got, we're going to get some figures here, the kids on the bikes, of course, uh, six figures, including E.T. and the mothership. Look at that hopefully to scale, and then of course the board and some tokens and dice and whatnot. It is, I guess, the 40th anniversary edition, um, or the 40th anniversary of the film, and therefore they're celebrating that on the box there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. 30 minutes, it says. So I've already cracked open the plastic seals that hold this together. It comes without shrink wrap. We are going to crack that open and take a look at what we've got in here. So we've got, first and foremost, of course, some instructions there. Let's take a look at that. A game board with some spaces, some zones, some roads, and some shortcuts. Basically the same board, they're just explaining it to you. It's a nice way to do that, by the way. I like that. Set up there. We've got uh, a really cool motif, by the way, all the way around the pages here, very 70s. We've got winning the game, taking actions, phoning home, very important. Some basic actions of which you take up to three. And then pick up an item or device. Uh, dangerous pickup, I guess you have to roll for that. Some ramps, some free actions you can do. Move ET with candy. There we go. All right. We've got picking him up and dropping him off. I guess he fits in the basket, which is pretty sweet. Teaming up there. Build a device. Extra items. Phoning home. And then down here, an adjustment for difficulty levels. Beginner standard hard with how many items of the same color it takes to build it. There we go. Move enemies. The danger die. Some enemy dice. Getting caught. And ending the game. So the game can end in one of three ways. Cops surround the forest clearing. If all three cop cars re uh, reach the end of their paths nearby the forest clearing, they block off the clearing and the players lose the game. E.T. becomes too weak. Not enough candy. If his heart light dial ever reaches zero, he's become too weak to get home and the players lose the game. Or E.T. gets rescued if the mothership is in the forest clearing and E.T. is at one of the four nearby spaces. He is taken back to his home planet and the players win the game. An FAQ over here with some frequently asked questions. And then a lovely reference on the back. That's what I'm talking about. Every rule book should do this, folks. Use the back of your rule book as a breakdown reference guide to what's going on. All right. So here we've got the cop cars, some characters, some tokens, and then some, some items, I suppose. Where we got a hanger and a coffee can, a battery, some rope. All right, let's see how these punch out. Very nice. The backs of these look like that. These come out pretty clean. Pretty clean. I like that. Very good. There we go. Then in here we've got a board. I'm going to scoot this out of the way right now so we can fold out this, this lovely board. There we go. There's the back with just that one part that had the flower pot and then this right here I'm still getting there we go come on come on box get out of the way uh, I'm gonna spin this like so all right there it is that is a neat shape for a board too it's not not square it's not round it's got a cool look and I do like this artwork all over it very period appropriate so there we go. I guess the mothership will be moving around out here. I like that. All right, then in here we've got the rest of these components. We've got E.T. with his heart light, was it? A little dial already comes pre-mounted uh, pre on there. And you can lower his little heart light deal. There we go. All the way down to zero. That's not good. All right. We've got here the kids on their bikes 
take a look at those on a uh, oh that's cool I guess these uh, tie to each other you can with these plastic bases they can link up move as a group oh look at that that's cool but then they come off very easily all right so we've got them we've got ET bundled up like a little baby and he can go right in the basket Toy Factor is nice in this. And then, of course, we've got the mothership over here. Let's see if I can get this mothership out. There we go. Nice. Not to scale as I was hoping, but not bad. And I guess it'll sit out here and just move around. Very high stem on that and very cool piece. Very well done. Then in here we've got some dice and the standees for the cop cars. Got these for moving the cops around, I believe. They are uh, they are engraved. They got a little engraving on them. There we go. And a couple of, well, three little dice here with a phone. There we go. And then this danger die which looks very much like these two over here. And like I said, the little standees, or the plastic bases for the standees. And then some cards, very few cards actually. And then these large ones here, very uh, cardboardy these. So we've got, let's get all these out of here. We've got Elliot there, we've got Michael, Greg, and Gertie, and then Another player aid explaining everything that's going on. Once per turn, when taking a move action, Michael may travel along one shortcut for free and then places to hold those items. Once per turn, Greg may take a dangerous move action without rolling the danger die. He's a, a daredevil. Gertie, once per turn, Gertie may take a dangerous pickup action without rolling the danger die. So they'll each have a special ability, the kids. And then, of course, again, we've got the, uh, the cards here. So let's go ahead and crack this open. And take a look at the cards. And again, these cards have very, uh, the, the shapes that they chose to go with here in the game are very interesting. The board shape is very interesting. These cards have very rounded corners. Way more rounded than an usual deck of playing cards, or really any cards in any game, as you can tell. It's very pleasant to hold these. So here we go. We've got flying kids taking flight. Ouch. Trick or treat there. Meeting spot. A candy trail. <laughs> move each agent and special agent keys up to one space. Cop cars do not move. All right. There we go. Okay. Kick up his uh, heart light dial uh, up one to a maximum of six with that one. Mary, any or all kits may move to those spaces on the board, which are, I see one over there. So there we go, just again, a small deck of cards, I'm guessing some, some actions you can take in the game, and move around to try to get E.T. to phone home and get out of here. Go home, E.T. It's late. So there we go, everybody, that is E.T. the Extraterrestrial. From Funko Games, like I said, and designed by Prospero Hall. Very neat looking product here. Lots of, uh, uh, I guess, love for the, the intellectual property. And I really like some of these toy-like pieces. Especially considering you can put little baby E.T. in the basket. And that the bikes can link together. That is just neat stuff. So there we go, folks. That's going to do it for our look at E.T. the Extraterrestrial, the board game. My name is Z Garcia. Phone home as often as you can, and I'll see you on the next one.